this video has truly taken on a life of its own. It started out as one thing, morphed into a completely different topic, and then took a detour and somehow found its way back to Mark Harmon and a specific night that he will never forget. So initially, this video was just going to be about one of my favorite movies from the 80s, Summer School. I still try to watch this film directed by the legendary Carl Reiner every now and again, not because it's great, although it really is, but rather because it's just so darn easy to watch. And a lot of that has to do with the really talented group of actors that were assembled together to craft this lightweight flick. This thing has it all, a bit of romance, a ton of comedy, and a few lessons to be learned along the way. All in all, it's highly recommended. As is Mark Harmon's turn in the NBC dramedy St. Elsewhere, another 80s staple that's worthy of its own video, so we won't be talking much about that one today, other than to say that there was a time when I thought that Howie Mandel was perhaps the funniest guy on this planet. Anyone remember another fine mess with Ted Danson? And we're also not going to talk about the honor bestowed upon Harmon by People Magazine way back in 1986. Oh wait, crap, I just talked about it. Oh well, that's it. Pivotal to our story today, however, is this lovely lady, Ms. Pam Dauber, star of Mork and Mindy and the true love of Mark Harmon's life. I've got to say, that Robin Williams guy was so darn funny. I'll save my conversation about his friendship with Pam Dauber for another day. As you can see, my mind went a million places while I was putting this thing together. However, it is super important to our story to recognize this enduring union. Mark and Pam throughout the years really have been a team, and one night in 1996, their ability to work together, to sense what each one of them should do next, was of utmost importance. Because you see, that evening as the sun set, Pam noticed a burning car outside of the window of their home in Brentwood, California. She immediately called Mark over, and without hesitation, Mark raced outside, where he could see that one person had been able to get out of the vehicle, but another still appeared to be trapped inside. As Mark raced to the vehicle, Pam called 911 and explained the situation before racing outside herself. I have to believe that a million different thoughts were going through their minds at that moment. Pam, I'm certain, was not only worried for the person inside of the vehicle, but for her husband as well, who broke one of the car windows and pulled the trap boy to safety by grabbing his belt. Now, I'm not saying that Mark's stint in the late 70s on the short-lived TV show 240 Robert had anything to do with his heroics that evening, but his actions certainly echoed the exploits of the 240 Robert team, who for 16 episodes routinely risked their own lives to save others. In 2013, CBS Sunday Morning talked with Harmon about that fateful evening, and from that conversation it was clearly evident that it was a moment in time that both Mark and Pam would never, ever forget. It's a great interview and an easy one to find on YouTube. If you're a fan of Mr. Harmon, I'd recommend checking it out. Because on that same video, CBS also interviews the young man that Harmon pulled out of the car that fateful evening. It's an eye-opening conversation and truly inspiring how this individual has really ran with his second chance at life. And I do love this quote. When asked if Harmon was some sort of guardian angel, the young man's response was, Mark Harmon isn't an angel. He is so much more. Since I've mentioned many of the things that Mark has been involved with over the years, and trust me folks, there's a ton more, it feels wrong to completely ignore that for the last 17 years, Harmon has starred as NCIS agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs, a role which has earned him six nominations at the People's Choice Awards, including a win for Favorite TV Crime Drama Actor in 2017. Alright, let's finish this thing up right where we started with one more image from 1987's Summer School. This is definitely one of those movies that's the equivalent of junk food. But I do love me some McDonald's from time to time, just like I love this film. Anyway, please share your memories in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television mostly from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, 
Thank you so much for watching.